So this is the second video about resentment. Last week, I already gave several solutions to working with resentment, either on yourself or when you're working, coaching others. And so here's another way of dealing with resentment. And rather than working with that negative emotion, it's actually working with increasing the, positive, the, the, the opposite of resentment. Now, before I reveal what that is, I want you to think about it because I don't like to like spoon feed that information. Research actually, researchers actually researched it as to what is the opposite of resentment. Well, what is resentment? Resentment is about justice. It's about what's morally right and morally wrong. Well, that's highly subjective because we each have our own reality, a different way of looking at the world. We all filter for different things. And we are things that are for us in awareness and out of awareness. And that determines how, uh, how resentful we are. But we also have different levels of coping strategies. I would say someone who is NLP trained really well and actually applies that in their life, they're actually more resilient, more able to let things go. If you meditate on top of that and do all kinds of other things, then you may not be as resentful as the next person. And again, resentment causes a negative chemical reaction inside the body. So it doesn't just give negative emotions, it actually gives a negative chemical release in the body, which could make you physically or mentally ill if it's really bad. So it's not something you wanna hold on to. So what is the opposite of resentment? Well, the opposite of resentment is gratitude. And now, if we're talking about the kind of resentment that is about significant emotional events in the past, and we now need to be grateful to our villain who we resent, that may be a little bit of a tough thing to shift into right away. But what would happen if you looked at your life as a result of that event that you resent or that person that you resent? What if you start focusing on the positive things that you got out of that. I'm talking about the lessons you learned, you becoming more stronger, more resilient, more emotional intelligent, more capable of understanding other people's pain. Maybe this resentment caused you to take an NLP training <laughs> with me on Bali or here in Venice Beach or in Mexico or in Amsterdam or Miami or Colombia. Uh, <laughs> And so that, that's all kinds of positive things. Maybe you wouldn't even ha gotten a certain job or maybe even met uh, your significant other if it wasn't for the fact that these things happen in your life. And you can focus your gratitude there rather than being grateful right away for your villain. That can come later. I think to first start honoring those pieces of ourselves that we became, who we became as a result of that moment. Maybe you resent yourself that's a whole other topic, which I'll go into next week. And, and so the, 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 that's a place to start. If it's more like a day-to-day -day resentment, then this, this exercise is much easier. You know, what am I grateful for and, and why? You know, are, are three things that I can draw out of this situation where I resent my colleague, another person, what are three things I can be grateful for and why? So then you're actually stealing from an, another exercise from the world of positive psychology. But those are really easy ways of dealing with resentment using gratitude.